Hi everyone, my name is Farron Stanley, the Education Officer at the Peterborough Museum and Archives. We are back inside the museum now and we want to talk a little bit more about how to make this exhibit. So we've gone over the theme, your class has chosen its theme, we've talked about collections a bit, we went to the Curatorial Center and saw our collection, you created an accession file on your item, but now we have to figure out how to actually make our exhibit. What does an exhibit have? So there are kind of four main components to an exhibit. The first component is to have a title. So you want a catchy title that describes what your exhibit is on. The second thing is to have an introductory text paragraph. So basically in this paragraph, you are going to introduce your exhibit. So what is it about? And try and tie all of the items together. So all of the items that you have featured in your exhibit. The third component is to label each artifact or item that is in your exhibit. So you're gonna have just a small label that says the name of that item. The fourth component is to have a background for your exhibit. So you want this background to be eye-catching, you want it to make sense, so it should kind of tie into the items that you're featuring, and you want it to kind of bring your whole exhibit together. And those are the four main things that your exhibit should have. Now your exhibit could be a virtual exhibit, so you could create a slideshow that shows your artifacts and that tells a story behind them. You could have a physical exhibit that you create in your home, so maybe you could use Bristol board to create a background and have your objects in front of the Bristol board with pieces of paper glued to it to feature off your items and create your exhibit. You could also create a video exhibit, so where you create your exhibit and then you can videotape it and even talk in your video to explain your exhibit. So there's lots of choices and options on how to share this exhibit with your class. And you can choose which one speaks the most to you and creatively decide what you think best showcases your artifacts and your story. So now you have all the tools to make your own class museum and your own exhibits. We can't wait to see what you come up with. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to me. I'm happy to help. And feel free to share these class museums with the Peterborough Museum through social media or by emailing me. And we hope to really see you soon here at the Peterborough Museum and Archive.